Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the official study, study manuals for T's 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today, we'll solve some problems that you will find on page number 155. Please turn to it, make sure the book is always in front of you. Page 155, we'll do problem number one. Let's get going, shall we? At the end of the video, if you find this helpful and if you decide that you would like to work with me, you can always get hold of me by sending me an email at kashmaniprep at icloud.com. All right? Let's take a look at it. Number one, this says that we're going to put, we're going to put square pairs, square pairs that are four inch by four inch around, around the perimeter of a garden that is 8 feet by 2 feet. The question simply is how many papers do we need to buy? How many papers should we buy? Well, let's, let's draw a picture so make it so makes it easier for us to, to, to visualize it. So let's draw our garden. Our garden is 8 feet by 2 feet. Our garden is 8 feet by 2 feet. This is 2 feet and this inside here is 8 feet. Right here from here to here is 8 feet. And we're going to put pavers around it, around the border, around our garden. And pavers happens to be four inch by four inch. Before we do anything at all, before we do anything at all, one small minor detail we should must attention to is that, see right now we're going to look at the dimensions, we're going to look at length of this side, we're going to look at, take a look at the length of this side, but when we talk about length of this side, length of this side, we're only going up to here, only up, up to here. When we talk about the length of this side, we're only going up to here, to here. We're going to miss the four corners. We're going to miss the four corners if we simply, if we simply look at the perimeter of this thing, which is what we're going to do right now. Perimeter is simply the sum of these four sides. If we simply look at the perimeter of it, we're going to miss these four squares. So whatever, whatever the perimeter happens to be, what however many papers that we need to to cover the perimeter, we must remember to buy four additional papers to go in the four corners. All right, let's begin then. So let's first figure out what's the perimeter of it, which is which is simply the sum of the sides. Let's do it on the top. Perimeter is simply two times length plus the width. Two times length plus the width. And if you don't like that business, if you don't want to get so technical, just do it out in steps. It's going to be two feet this way. And two feet that way, see that's the that's, that's the width here, this width and this width. Two times the width and two times the length. One length this way, which is eight foot, eight, eight feet, and another length this way. This side, that side, this side, and that side. That's the perimeter. That's just exactly 20. That's just 20 feet. That's just exactly 20 feet. And the paver, if you remember, pavers were four, four inch by four inch. 4 inch by 4 inch, which means 1 foot long, 1 foot, for example, this is 2 feet here, this is 2 feet, so from here to here is 1 foot, from here to here is 1 foot, and because the paper is only 4 inches, uh, 4 inch long, you're going to need 3 of them, 4 inch, 8 inch, 12 inch, 4 inch, 8 inch, 12 inch, you're going to need 6 of this way. In other words, we have 20 feet of, 20 feet of perimeter, so the number of papers that we need is going to be 20 times 3 because each foot is made up of three four inches because the paper is four inch long and therefore we'll need three of them to go the length of one foot. 
So that's 60, but that is not the end of the story. The number of papers we need, number of papers we need is not just simply 20 times 3, which is the parameter, parameter times 3, because 1 foot is the length of 3 papers, plus these four. 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't know why I'm writing numbers, you can't read them, they're the same colors. There you go, that's our answer. That's what it is. I think, I think I'm too much fussed about nothing. 20 times 3 is 60, 60 plus 4 is 64. The answer is 64. How many papers do we need? The, the answer is we need 64 of them. Let's do the next one, shall we? Problem number 2. <coughs> Problem number two deals with a very important concept. It deals with the concept of cubic centimeter versus milliliter. And I, in my opinion, that concept was so important that I decided to cover it separately by itself yesterday. Yesterday, if you watch day number 15, you will see that we covered this concept. What is cubic centimeter? What is milliliter? How are the two related? Because that's what the question number two deals with. We, it has already been done. We did it yesterday on day number 15. Let's move on to question number three. Question number three says that we have a patient whose intake, fluid intake, on Monday was 1800 1800 milliliter and on Tuesday his fluid intake was 2350 milliliter the same patient the same patient we're talking about the patient's total fluid outtake over the two days is 1775 milliliter. So for the outtake, for the outtake they do not break it down by the day Monday and Tuesday separately. They give us together the total for, total outtake for the two days it was 1,775 milliliter, or if you like, 1,775 cubic centimeter. We talked about that yesterday. The question is very straightforward, very simple. The question simply is, what is the net, uh, what is the net result? What is the net result? What was the net, net, what was the net fluid that was retained by the by the patient's body over the two-day period? So we take the, we figure out what the intake was. We are given the outtake, we take the difference, that's all it is. So the intake on Monday was 1800 milliliter, on Tuesday it was 2350. Let's add them up, we get 0, 5, 11, and 4. 4. This is the intake over the two day period. The outtake was 1775, and therefore this is going to be the net. So let's figure it out, shall we? 10 minus 5, so we're going to do 10. We're going to do Convert this into 4 before you forget it. 10 minus 5 is 5. 4, we can't take sub subtract 7 from the 4. We're going to take borrow it from here. It becomes 0. 14 minus 7 is 7. 0 minus 7, we can't do that. It's going to become 3. So it's 10 minus 7, 3. And 3 minus, there you go. 2,375 milliliter. Or if you prefer, 2,375 cubic centimeter. As we talked about yesterday, it is the same bloody thing. That's the end of it. That was problem number three. There are two more problems there on the same page, which I'm not going to cover in the same video. We'll do them tomorrow um, when we meet each other, okay? If you wish to get hold of me, you can reach me at kashwaniprep at icloud.com. Bye now.